Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with our Realistic Series. Activate 1,400 cycles a month, which means that I'm actually using just over 14,000, well, 14,000 plus another 20%. Uh, um, so 14,000, uh, 15, almost 16,000 timber. So we've got just over a month's worth in here. And we'll end up with 1,440 times 6. Should be 7,000. We'll have a lot of pallets, put it that way. There's a lot of pallets going to be here. Well, a lot of liters of pallets. So the red letters over here that takes... A one, so you get one of those, and then we use up 0 0.14 pallet to make 3.48 red lettuce. It's the same with the watermelon and the melon here. That So they don't use a great deal in the way of pallets, but we are going to want to be using them. So there's materials missing on here. This is 48 a month. I'm going to deactivate that one because I don't want to be spending that out each month. And there's nothing else that I need to worry about at the moment. We can leave that to carry on making and just wondering if I should take this. I will. I'm going to take this one back up to the farm. Take the trailer back to the farm. And I don't think there's anything else that we want to worry about. I mean, I'm going to want to get those pallets up to the greenhouses. But there's other stuff we need to get to the greenhouses as well. So actually, what I want to do is I want to take this up to the farm. I think this way is the farm. Yeah, this, this is my farm up here. Um, yeah, right next to that field. Okay, excellent. I'm going to need the vegetable seeds. So that's something that I've got to buy from down the bottom. But I want an auto load trailer for moving those. And then I'm going to want a... Because um, I've got one auto load trailer, which is great and all, but maybe we should have another small auto load trailer. And also, whether or not I should keep this shed up here, I think I'm going to. I think we're going to move that seed drill out of there. I've got another vehicle. I need. Right, let's shut you off a second. We've got this vehicle over here. We want to move this one first. The greenhouses, uh, let's just have a look. I need to have manure in here, and I need to get water, and I need vegetable seeds. So we need, water is not a problem. We just need something to move the water with. And I need a source of manure. And at the moment, I don't have something that makes it. Didn't we have, I can't remember what I said I was going to do for that. This compost master one takes digestate and straw and combines it to make compost. I'd actually like to be able to turn compost into... I don't know if there's anything that actually uses it. It'd be nice if there was a way to turn the compost into um, manure instead so that we can use it for the greenhouses. I do actually have a couple of options here. We can... There's, there's always sell points. But we've got this outhouse mod, which I actually really like the idea of. Just putting that little tiny one down and then generating large quantities of manure. Uh, except that we have to have wood chips going into that one. So I, there is that against it. I, I don't particularly like the fact that we've got to put wood chips into it. But there is another one uh, which is a chicken farm which I a chicken coop mod right here it is 45,000 but you stick straw in you get manure coming out which I actually thought was pretty good um I, I quite like that idea that that does actually seem to fit quite nicely but at the moment both of those are rather pricey options and so I figure it might be better if we just get a uh, manure sell point all right i've had a look around and i finally remembered that there is actually a place on the map where we can go and buy uh, manure already so we don't need to add anything extra in to be able to do that 
So that's what we are going to go and do now in a minute. Um, it's not cheap. It's a lot more expensive to buy the manure than it would be to sell it. Well, I say it's more expensive. It, you get a lot more... Uh, it costs a lot more than we would get back from selling it. It's like three times as much. Um, and it's... Oops. Down on the south part of the map. So I'm just going to put that one there. The reason I'm dropping that one off is because I would like to move the seed drill out of the uh, place that we've got it over here, out of this shed. And then this shed here, we're going to use this one for our lorry trailers. And then we'll just sort of keep that exclusively for the lorry trailers. So I'm going to get you and bring you out of there. And it's maybe not the best one for the lorry trailers, but it'll do for the moment. We, we, we don't really need to have anything extra on top of that, so that, that one can just stay there. And for now, the seed drill can go in here with tractor attached to it, and that can stop right there. Then we will jump over here to this one. We drop these down into the shed in here. Or these, this one, can go into the shed in here. This facility here that I'm just sticking the nose of the lorry into is a manure storage. Uh, it's where we've got a diesel tank up there, this manure here, and that slurry right there. So we've got options for storing all of the natural state fertilizers. Let's bring you on around a bit. And bring you in here. So yeah, it's not the easiest one to shunt in and out of, but it, it, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to leave that one there, and then I'm going to move on over a bit. So what I'm going to want is to get manure and bring that back, and we will stick some into the greenhouses. And the greenhouses take uh, 10,000 each. So we'll be able to stick some into our store and have a bit extra left over. At least that's what I'm hoping. And then uh, the pallets over here, I think we've got we've got a few pallets already that have spawned out. Um, so we'll be able to come and get that. Uh, we also need to go and buy some vegetable seeds. Now the vegetable seeds, those are the ones that we do actually need to go and get from the shop. We're not going to go to the shop at the moment. We have to go shopping elsewhere at the moment and we are heading down here it's that one supplies that we want to get and that is straight down there in between them uh we need to go up that way so we want to go on straight past our pallet location is where we're going to want to go so we want to head down that side and drive down the road there it's half past two at the moment so we should be okay for time it's still raining. Seems to be raining continuously. I hope it's not going to do this throughout the series. It's going to get rather frustrating if it never stops raining. And bring you on round here. So we should just be able to go straight down this road here. We go across the road here, down past the pallet factory, and then... Uh, I think we go up the hill on the other side, is there? Let's, let's just have a look. Yeah, there's a bit of a hill going up that way as well. So I do need to stop and basically get across. Yeah, okay. See, it's a bit difficult with all the trees near the road. It's always a bit, little bit difficult to sort of see where you're going and what you're doing. It does make life a little bit more tricky. And in there, I've got four pallets of pallets, which is excellent. That means I'll be able to put a pallet into each of the greenhouses, and there will be some left over as well, which is even more awesome. Uh, this building... What is this building? Oh, that's the cattle in there. So that's, again, that's straight down from our farm. Fairly easy to find, that is. Whether or not we will actually use that one or not, I don't know. Same with the pig food. Like, we, we may not end up using any of these things. I may decide not to do the stuff with the animals. On the other hand, I might. That is water. 
Now, do I have to buy that in order to get water, or can I just go and fasten onto it? So there's the pool of water. Is there other pools of water? Let's just have a little look. I know we've got the river that sort of flows around. Well, there's a river right next to our farm. So, I mean, in theory, we should be able to back off by the field and, and sort of drop into that. But I'm wondering if that's kind of going against the spirit of the map. All right, let's zoom in a little bit and we go to farmland. I don't think we'd be expected to spend five million to buy it. So there is at least water there. Whether or not that's the water we should be using or whether I, I didn't see any other water on the map immediately. But I mean, maybe we can just extract it from the river, something like that. That would be probably the better way of doing it. Now, I am going to drive all the way up round. This is at least letting us see this map here. And we're not going to have to do this trip very often. Oh, well, that's the dairy in there. Like, it's not something that we will have to be doing on a regular basis going all the way up here. See, I, I was also wondering about using this map for time maps, but honestly, the traveling along the roads with all of these trees right up against the roads in time lapse is not an easy thing to do. It ends up sort of just looking really bad for everybody involved, and um, I have had complaints about that sort of thing previously. Now, let's go up this side. So, what have we got? I got. Fertile land, there's straw there. That looks like it's a tip point for straw. And then these two are load points. So I've got chaff right there. And then this one here is the manure. And this one, so chaff, if I, I can load chaff from this one. And then I can take that and I can put that into a biogas plant. There's a biogas plant right there. So we could load up a biogas plant with... All kinds of... Uh, that, that's Fertinella over there. So what have I got? Uh, that just says supplies, sale of bales. Oh, it, it's just a generalized supplies one right here. And that's fertilizer silo, seed silo, and liquid station. And then that's south distribution center. Uh, so if I go here... Now, it's like 200 per thousand liters. So I'm going to need... We should be all right just to load this trailer all the way up, I think. Ah, real life interrupted just for a sec. Uh, but anyway, I've got 58,000 litres of manure now. We're going to whiz back home, I hope, if we can get out. Are we allowed out? Which way do these gates open? Oh, no, 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 don't be another one of these. I really, really, really am starting to hate these gates because I can't teleport out of here. I can't reset the vehicle out of this yard. Um, and this mod that does the auto opening and closing of gates. Why can't I just click on the gate to open it with this one? Why won't it let me do that? There's no open and close button. see is there anything on here uh, closed text default that, that might just be a map error what about you what are you doing uh, are you gonna give me anything no Super strength all right there's literally nothing I can do I can't go to the outside the only way that I could do it is if I get another vehicle I'm gonna have to disable this automatic open close gates mod that I've got on here in order for this to be able to right, in in order to be able to do anything else I think that's what we're gonna need to do because it shouldn't be closed at the moment so I tell you what I'm gonna do instead is Actually, let's bring it back from the gate a bit. So, yeah, at the moment, I'm not going to do it because I'm still doing my recording. But I will remember to shut that, uh, to change that over. So if I jump out here, there isn't anything else that I want to do this evening anyway. We'll just go to sleep and we'll move into the second part of December. 
I have had the time ticking by at a reasonable rate. I did just slow it down a little bit. Uh, let's go up to about 10 times speed. That should be fine. And I'm hoping that sleeping the night... Sleep. And then it getting to 9 o'clock in the morning so that the gate will auto open will take care of it just for now but i'm gonna disable this auto open close because while it's a really good mod while i do like it and i appreciate what it can potentially do it's also incredibly frustrating on this map because these gates are awful for um if you've got it installed uh, because you've got to get so close to the gate like you've seen me demonstrate several times now it just doesn't work so that mod is incompatible with this map, which is a shame because I do like the auto open and close, but it would be a lot better if it would activate from a bit further away. So there, right, I've, it's now auto opened, but because of the way this mod works, once I go through the gate and I head up this way, that's now going to auto close. Now it's great me going in from this side, but from the other side... Yeah, it, it, it's no good at all, and uh, we end up with gates that are permanently closed because we can never escape from those facilities. So I'm also getting stuck here because of cars on the corners, and... Oh no, they are going to drive on round, right, that's okay. If it was an auto-load trailer, they would just stop there and never ever move again, which is slightly inconvenient. Um... But I need to get now back to the main yard. And then we can unload this into the greenhouses. It's not going to be a lot else. So we've got manure. We need to get water. I need to find something. That, well, first we need to see if we've got anything that we can carry the water around with. Um, if we don't, then we'll need to buy something that we can carry water with. Or else we need to lease some kind of tanker to do that. And then once we've done that bit, we've got the three greenhouses are then able to get up and running. Right, let's just slowly come down here and... Yeah, it, it, it's getting around this corner here. It's, it's not easy. If we didn't have tra... I do sometimes consider turning traffic off on maps just because it would be a lot easier to get big vehicles around. But it kind of removes half the fun of the, cha like the, the challenge of the game, doesn't it? What I... The bit that I don't like, though, is if I have a road that I use a lot, is having trees hanging over the top of it. And this one is really quite annoying for that. Let's get ourselves back to the farm a minute. There's a large number of people here, and they've all decided to just stand there forever, so I've had to gently nudge them out of the way as I go through. It did occur to me that we've had to spend quite a bit of money buying this trailer load of manure. It's um, potentially come from rocking horses, considering how much we've had to pay for it. This, that, that, that's all I'm going to say on the subject, is, is that it's potentially come from rocking horses. Um, some of you will understand what I mean, and some of you may not, uh, but it's not something I'm going to explain in detail on a family-friendly channel. Um, well, it, it technically it's not really, like, it, it's not obscene or anything, it is just maybe not 100% suitable for every member of the family. Let, let, let's just leave it at that. Um, right. Oops. Okay, I just need to do that. Uh, we need to go along. Now, how easy is this going to be to tip in? Like, uh, where is the tip range for this? Can I just do it I can excellent right you see that so we're fairly close to it there I did just drift out a little bit I think so if I bring it in this way and just go a little bit closer like that Aha! right so I can tip in 10,000 liters of manure into each greenhouse so there's one and we'll move along here when we get the second. So, yeah, see, I do like the fact that we have these auto-open gates and doors and everything. And it is nice to see it. But, quite frankly, it's really inconvenient. Which is a bit of a shame. And I want one in there. 
and then hopefully I've designed this thing properly and then we can come down here around the slope without damaging anything and then we go in over this way and the remaining manure can be tipped out in here like this and we'll be able to load it back up later when we want to use the greenhouses uh well we want when we want to get stuff from the greenhouses so at the moment a greenhouse does 1440 cycles per month and it uses two manure for each cycle that it does which means that it's using 3000 per month so we're going to want to top up the greenhouse roughly once every three months so once per season we'll need to top up the greenhouse now we've got enough manure here to just about cope with one top up for the season which means then we'll need to go and buy more so we either want to have some kind of production facility for the stuff here somewhere or we're going to want to have a new buy point installed that's closer or we just need to drive all the way across the map again and get it from over there so i'd be interested to hear people's views and opinions on that one that is one that I'm not going to say. We will definitely do it one way or another. There's, uh, or I'm open to all kinds of possibilities with that. Um, now, I did say that I wanted a small auto-load trailer for moving stuff around the yard and also potentially removing stuff from the greenhouse. And that might be useful for some other things as well. Uh, what have we got? Actually thinking I might just go with the standard old familiar when it comes to a small autoload. Autoload for pallets extreme, autoload for pallets normal. I'll take the extreme version. It, I think it just sticks them out over the edge ever so slightly. It's nothing actually particularly extreme. Um, uh, I want... Jet black and yellow like that. I really like yellow and black. I always have done. Um, although I'm actually kind of wondering about green and blue combination. So it'd be richer green. That always looks good. Let's go with green and blue this time. I haven't done this in a while. So we got the small trailer that's down at the shop ready to go and collect. I'm not going to collect it just yet. I'm actually going to take this one right here. And we're going to go and get the pallets that have now been produced down at our pallet factory. And we're going to bring those back up here so that we can load them into the greenhouse. Um, what I'm also... Actually, no, I'm, I won't need to do that. So we'll use this one to go and get the pallets from the pallet factory and bring all of the pallets back up here. And then if we've got spares, they can just sit on the lorry for a minute or something. I, I'm not quite sure yet. And then what we'll also want to do is we need to get water. And that means that we're going to need to get something that we can use for water to uh, bring that back up. But I, I'm not quite sure yet. That's kind of on the to-do list. Um, and so straight down across here there's a lot of people here but i'm bigger than them so i have right of way i think that's how it works something along those lines i'm sure of it and then i've got the four pallets there uh, four pallets of pallets and what we'll do is we'll swing in around like this and then we'll have a look and see what we've got in here so there's 3700 so i got three i got seven thousand liters of pallets as far as i can see that is ready to load up in this one. So we'll first of all we go here, and I think it's Z to unload, the, uh, undo the sides like that, and then it is R to enable the auto load. So I think this is just class as stand. Yes, it is. It's it's standard Euro pallets. Put that in down through there, and I'll let a few more come in here as well. Oh wait, what? 
Oh! 200 litres per stack. I thought it was 1,000 litres per stack. So what's going to happen now when he's full? That's everything that we've got. 23 out of 50. Um, loading more pallets is going to end up sticking it through the roof, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Well, not that it matters because we've loaded up every single pallet. So there's a lot of pallets in there. This is a bit different than what I was expecting, I've got to be honest. I, I, I like it, don't get me wrong. I, I really do. I think this is awesome. Um, we just got to decide where we're going to store all of these pallets because I can put a thousand litres in each of the greenhouses and then after that I'm not really sure. Let's see, let's get it back to the yard. 4,600 on board, so we should only use 3,000, which means we'll stick the rest of them probably in one of the sheds over there. Something like that. Um, I'm going to pop back the curtain sides on this one a minute. And then we'll see what happens. Do I need to unload or do anything like that? Or do I just... No, nope, I just move up to it and it's unloading it by auto magic you got to love auto magic don't you well, auto magic is amazing and then we just bring that in like that and do the same with this one Actually, what I'd like to do is very carefully just make sure that we're doing it a stack at a time so then I've got full stacks only and nothing else One. I genuinely didn't think that it was going to be like this, so just two stacks per pallet. Okay, um, 1597. I'm, I'm not quite sure why that's done it like that, but it has that, that. That is how it's done it. Right, so if we have a look in here now, I've got uh, melons. You've got a thousand liters. The red lettuce has got a thousand, and the watermelon has got a thousand. We need water, and we want vegetable seeds. So they actually need, well, they can take 4,200 vegetable seeds each. And if we have a look in here, this is the only place that I know of that we can get vegetable seeds. If you have a look on the price list on here first, uh, we've there's the vegetable seeds. No selling point available. You can't do anything with them anywhere. Melons here, their best selling price is in February. So we're not far off of being able to sell them for maximum value. It's the same with the watermelon. And uh, the red lettuce down here is also the same. So we fairly similar on those. Um Watermelon 4.2.21.14. Everything's the same. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.